Okay, so the final thing that we're going to look at on the browser is a little um, feature called the preview player, um, which is, uh, it doesn't load up as the default, so I'm going to show you where to find it. The preview player basically allows you to pre-listen the tracks before loading them into the decks. So if you don't see a player on your screen, you go to preferences, browser details, and click on this box here to show preview player. So now to preview a track without having to uh, load it into our decks, we just drag and drop it onto the player. And you can hear it playing there. Now to use this player, so it's not actually outputting through your master, you need to assign an output to output preview or output monitor, which you'll find under the output routing in your preferences section. Elsewhere on the browser, you can display cover art, which you can activate or deactivate under the um, preferences as well. So there's an example of a track with cover art. The cover art loads up nicely up there. If you want to go and change how that is actually displayed, we can go in here. And again, under browser details, show cover art. We'll see where that goes. And you'll see the cover art appears here um, in the bottom left, left hand corner. It's up to yourself whether you want it to be there. I prefer to have the bigger window for the browser tree myself. But again, it's entirely up to you. So the final thing that we're going to look at in this video is called the consistency check. Every time you load up Tractor, you can tell Tractor to have a look at your library and tell you if there's any music which has gone missing on your hard drive. For example, sometimes you, you, music changes location and um, Tractor won't know where to look for it. Also, it will tell you if there is any music in your library that needs to be analysed. So what it does, it runs what's called a consistency check. And to set this up, we go into Preferences. and we go to file management we click on show consistency check report on startup so now that I've checked that I'll just show you what it does now it loads up as and when we open tractor so I'm going to close down tractor load it up again and here we go so it's telling me that I have a total of 401 tracks in my library there's 44 tracks missing there's two tracks not analyzed, no tracks missing stripe, which is good. So there's no, and again, there's only two tracks to analyze. It's showing me here what the missing tracks are. They're likely tracks that have just moved location or else I've deleted them. And it's also showing me here the tracks which are left to analyze. So going back into the missing tracks, I can relocate any of those missing tracks by going into my finder, typing in the name there, or I can remove them from the missing list by clicking remove really delete the missing tracks from the collection yes or no or I can choose as in this case to analyze these tracks and it'll begin analysis for me so that's just another handy thing it's worth having there because the last thing that you want is to turn up at a gig switch on your laptop and then when you go looking for that track that you're just about to play get a little uh, exclamation mark icon telling you that the track's not there or it's disappeared. So this will load up every time you switch on Tractor. It'll give you this consistency check report and you'll just be a wee bit uh, more confident in the knowledge that all your music's there and all your tracks have been analysed.